This video illustrates the features of a computer-based training module for plant operators that is customized for a gold mill grinding circuit. This particular module features a bilingual language toggle, an option that allows the user to switch back and forth between Spanish and English on any display screen throughout the project. For example, on the opening screen, clicking on Español displays the initial menu in Spanish. Clicking on Entrenamiento para Operadores de Planta, or Plant Operator Training, displays the plant process flow sheet in Spanish. Clicking on English converts the material back to English. This demonstration focuses on the material covered under Plant Operator Training. Clicking on Plant Operator Training opens the module and displays a summary flow sheet of the entire plant process. A plant-specific computer-based training module covers the specific process flows, controls, interlocks, alarms, and operating procedures for a specific plant. More detail about each plant area can be found by selecting the specific area from the drop-down menu. Selecting Grinding and Pebble Crushing displays the area process flow sheet. Similarly, more detail about each system within an area is found by selecting a specific system from the menu. Selecting Primary Grinding displays the primary grinding system flow sheet. Here, the user can select Process Description, Process Control, Interlocks, or Alarms. By selecting Process Description and then Introduction, the system flow sheet appears on the right and the process description appears on the left. Clicking on a flow line in the legend animates the associated flow in the process flow sheet. The blue arrows allow the user to move back and forth through the sections of the process description. The sections can also be selected from the drop-down menu under Process Description. Hyperlinks in the text call up various supplemental information such as principles of operation and specifications for various equipment. The principles of operation can also be accessed separately from a pop-up menu at the bottom left. The primary grinding subsection focuses on the operation of the sag mill. Clicking on the sag mill link brings up the principle of operation, which explains the action and various components of the sag mill. In addition, the process description covers the principles of operation of the various lubrication systems associated with the sag mill. For instance, the sag mill trunnion and pinion lubrication system. Clicking on Workbook accesses multiple choice questions that guide the user through the material and reinforce learning. Clicking on Content returns the user to the training content. For further illustration, an extended 3D animation of the sag mill, its operation, and its major components can be selected for viewing. On the Primary Grinding System menu, selecting Process Control and Process Variables brings up a list of process variables. Selecting Sag Mill Feed Rate provides information on the feed rate. Other process variables for the system can be accessed in the drop-down menu at the bottom left. Each process variable lists the target range, control method summary, and impact on the process. Under Control Method, selecting the green hyperlink opens up a detailed description of the associated control loop. A description of the control logic appears on the left with a graphical depiction on the right. Clicking on Block Diagram offers an alternative view of the logic. Clicking on Interlocks drops down a list of the various interlocks in the system. Clicking on a specific set of interlocks displays the interlock diagram for, in this case, the low pressure lubrication system. Selecting an interlock diamond on the right calls up the interlock logic for a particular pump on the left. 
In this case, three logical inputs must be satisfied to allow the SAGMIL low pressure lubrication system oil pump to operate. Clicking on Alarms drops down a list of the alarm groups. Selecting an alarm group, for instance SAGMIL lubrication, displays that particular alarm group. Clicking on an alarm, for example FAL1003, a low flow alarm, displays the fault, cause, and remedy of that alarm on the left. After exiting the lesson, the user can select operating procedures in the open window to access the startup, shutdown, and other standard operating procedures. Also in this window, selecting startup and then general introduction gives general information about the plant procedures. Finally, selecting startup, procedures, and then startup from complete or standby shutdown in the text window on the left provides the specific detailed startup procedure for this plant in table format. This is an example of a plant operator training module for one system and a plant that includes 11 areas with multiple systems in each area. If you'd like to learn more or are interested in customizing training for your plant, visit www.perfnet.com or click on the consultation link in the video description.